Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com and in this video I will show you how to sync audio with video easily inside Adobe Premiere Pro. Okay, this video pre-recorded as at the moment I'm at VidCon in Amsterdam right now, VidCon Europe, so uh, do catch up with me if you're out there right now. Uh, inside Premiere Pro, I've actually got the video and audio uh, from my uh, Canon uh, 60D camera, <laughs> and uh, it's just camera audio, so have a listen podcasting. Oh dear. Yeah, not so good. So how to sync up audio? Well, the traditional thing, as I describe at the start. Okay, first thing you need to do to sync audio is clap. And it doesn't hurt to clap three times. That'll help you sync. Right. Okay. Yeah, that will help you sync. So the traditional way, I'm going to show you the traditional way and then the super fast Adobe Premiere Pro way uh, to sync audio, uh, would be to drag in all the audio here uh, that I recorded separately on... Uh, on another channel inside Adobe Audition because I was recording into the TLM-103 condenser mic, which is a lot better uh, than my uh, camera's internal microphone. Uh, but obviously you just need the camera internal microphone to pick up a bit of audio so you can match. Uh, so what I now do, I can see that the spikes are there. Uh, yes, there they are. There are the three spikes. So I want to match those three spikes with these three spikes. Just zoom in as much as you can and it does help to just move these audio uh, waveforms to be a bit bigger down here in the sequence so you can really see what you're doing. And then in a matter of no time at all, you're going to have it pretty much synced up and you're going to have uh, audio that's perfectly in sync. Let's just try and zoom out now. Here we go, zooming out. And we should hear... Three times. Ever such a slight echo That'll there. Sync. Right, let's do this. But as you will hear, uh, the audio is perfectly synced. So there, yeah, absolutely, that's one way of doing it. Now I'm just going to undo all that hard effort and show you the Adobe Premiere Pro way of syncing your audio. Uh, right click, making sure you're selecting both bits of audio, uh, and go to synchronize in the uh, menu that pops out. Make sure you're selecting audio and you're synchronizing to the track on channel one. Click OK. Oh, there you go. Easy, easy, easy. Three times. That'll help you sync. And actually, that's a much better sync than I did manually myself. So well done, Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, with my own sync, I could hear a little bit of echo in the background. Uh, but there, with the right click and the synchronize option, uh, no such problem. And it even works even if you don't have all the audio. So, whoops, don't delete everything. Uh, <laughs> if I delete just the audio track there, what I'm going to bring in is a normalized version of the third take I did for this promo, uh, which I like the best. I'm just going to drop it there. Uh, and again, you don't have to have all the audio uh, from the video track. You can right click, you can click synchronize and uh, to audio on channel uh, track one. That's what I want to do. And without fail, boom, it's going to say, yeah, that's the third takes audio and synchronize you up nicely so that you can then go between each clip here. Podcasting, podcasting, podcasting. You hear that word everywhere. So obviously I'm going to want to use that microphone as opposed to my camera's internal microphone. Synchronize in Adobe Premiere Pro. Use it every time you are recording audio on a different recorder, whether that be uh, a condenser, a big condenser microphone, or you're using a Zoom or some kind of handheld recorder. Grab the audio from source, drag it into Premiere Pro. Synchronize is the, uh, the, the option in the context menu there uh, to aim for. And yeah, have fun with it. If you want to find out more about what I'm up to at VidCon, Con Europe, go check it out at mrc.fm slash vidcon. That URL again is mrc.fm slash vidcon.